Hey Goons, what is up? Hell Pockets here for Game Goons TV with yet another episode of East 8 Lacrimosa of Dana. We are on episode 3 and we just got done taking out that, that dinosaur I can't remember the name of. And we're going to go straight into this super long uh, cutscene of Exposition. Um, oh shit, this guy's coming at me. Hold on a second. Gotta handle this. Alright, as I was saying... We're going to be going into a super long cutscene that's got a... And we're back. Just like we walked in. At all, you're back. Who might this be? At all, introduce Sahad. You're the captain of Lombardia. Duh. You're the captain of Lombardia. Um, Sahad, I'm truly sorry for. It wasn't your fault. Huh? Judging by the current and the weather, there wasn't no ordinary sinking. I'm pretty sure them scary looking tentacles are at fault for what happened. Hmm. What we should be really worrying about is about who those tentacles belong to. I really hope it ain't the legendary Kraken. Her face says so many things. Anyway, I guess I can chalk it up to bad luck. I may be just a fisherman, but we men of the sea gotta stick together. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Thank you, Sahad. Now I can talk freely. Oh, and here comes Dogi. <laughs> So I, rem I remember this, the reason why I remember this scene, not only because it's a lot of exposition and information that I never really got any closure on, but we discover that Dogi is not playable in East 8, Lacrimosa of Dana. That was extremely disappointing. Not like it matters. I mean, we got Sahad. He's fucking awesome. あの、漂流物に捕まって何とかここへたどり着いたんだ。まったく、毎度のことといえ、お前さんといると本当に退屈しないぜ。<笑><笑> She's like, wait, that's a real job? <laughs> I've been giving him shit for the last two days. Adam,今日はお互いにいろいろあったようだ。今後のためにも一旦情報交換しておいた方がいいだろう。見ての通り、ドギのおかげで少しだけ拠点も形になってきた。もう日も暮れるし、今日はこのまま休んでいくといい。
Beasts like that pose a real threat to us castaways. If there are other passengers on this island, we gotta find them and bring them here fast. Yes. We should fortify this area to better defend ourselves. And that's when the uh, mini games come in. Must have been something I hate. I'm fine. I should do a girl's voice for her. Hmm. Starting tomorrow. I'd like to see. Oh, I'd like you to oversee the development of the space doggy. Sure thing. What do you want me to do exactly? We need you to build up a base so that the castaways can feel safe until we escape. We obviously need shelter from an inclement from inclement weather, <laughs> but we also need a place where we can store food. I gotta look up inclement later on. I don't know what that means. Eventually, we need to help build a facility where we can construct <clears throat> the ship for us to escape. Excuse me. Didn't want to belch into the mic. Wow, you're serious about this. Sounds like you want this base to be a regular castaway village. Indeed. I think that you're a perfect man for this job. I'll assist you in any way I can. Which means he will not be joining us on our adventures. Leave it to me. I can't wait to get started. At all? I'd like you to continue drafting the map while you search for other passengers. Perhaps tomorrow you can expand the scope of your exploration. Not a problem. Let's get the f*** out of here already. Still knowing monsters roam this island. Adventurer or not, I must admit that I'm worried for your safety. Much as I'd like to join you, Adol, I gotta take care of things here. You sissy. In that case, I'll go with him. The beast may, may have got the jump on me, but I'm a good tracker and pretty damn strong, too. Hmm, I see. And please accompany Adol. What about you? Are you gonna go with Adol too? Yes, yes I will. <laughs> Welcome aboard. <sighs> now then, I think we should all get some rest. You're not the boss of me. We have a long day ahead of us and plenty of work to do. Thank you. It's not my bedtime yet. All right, that's the end of the first chapter. If you couldn't tell already, I'm blocking the blocking the text. Come on, back in the barn, everyone. Yes, yes. You such you're such good boys. At all, here's a girl's voice that he does not recognize <laughs> for the first time ever. Is this a dream? Ah. What's the matter, Dana? Ah. Father. People are coming to this village. Or valley. Damn, I can't read. Hmm, another vision then. Yes, its hue is crisp and clear. I think they'll be here tomorrow morning. Dana, are you? I'm okay. Hmm? I personally decided to do this. You don't need to worry about me. I'm fine. I understand. Still, I wonder who they are. They didn't look like people I know. They were wearing robes and riding carts pulled by big beasts. Hmm. They're probably not merchants either. They never come this way during the rainy season. That leads me to believe there's other villages around this island. I wonder who you saw. It wasn't us, obviously. The temple of the great tree? The howl ground for the great tree of origins where the maiden resides. Then Dana is. Yes, your daughter has been blessed with outstanding essence. You know, honestly, I bet you it's a Rhoda tree. We've come to escort her to the temple. Oh, but this is so sudden. Yes, we understand that. However, as you're no doubt aware, your daughter was chosen by the Oracle. I know. We can't refuse. That sucks, man. Father, I have decided. Man, ain't no way in hell I will let my kid go like that. The houses visited by the messenger are said to receive blessings afterward, right? And... Man, there ain't no amount of blessings that would let me... Let you take my daughter away. Shit. 
Chapter two, the castaway banquet. They're going to eat us alive, man. It's like a freaking uh, Twilight Zone episode. We're not eating the food. We are the food, damn it. Yo, we got a sick hammock. Who made that? Good morning. He's like, oh, not you. <laughs> Why do you look so tired? I had a weird dream. A weird dream? I guess even adventurers get occasional nightmares. No one said it was a nightmare. This is weird. We're supposed to search for more castaways, remember? We are? That's right. Let's get going. You mean right now? <clears throat> Before we go, there's something I'd like to show you, Mr. Kristen. I've already seen it, lady. Okay? You put those things away. While I was out for a walk this morning, I found a crate that was, had washed ashore. <laughs> Inside, I found some clothes that looked to be about your size. You've been checking me out, huh? You've been checking all adult adventure Kristen out without me looking. The clothes I'm wearing are fine. I brought them all the way here. <laughs> you could at least try them on. Now, come this way. Why is she being so nice to us out of nowhere? Oh, we got a damn boot sword. All right. Uh, it's all right, I guess. What do you think? These clothes, ah, clothes. These clothes are certainly more durable than a sailor's uniform. It's probably the same damn armor, leather armor. They're whatever. Thanks, I like them. We don't really like them, but we're just gonna say we like them so that she shuts the hell up. Please don't get the wrong idea. See, this is exactly why we don't compliment her. Given the circumstances, I merely thought we should just use whatever we can find. Anyway, I still haven't seen Sahad this morning. Let's find him so we can begin our search. Good idea. Select equipment the equipment. Oh, we can change costumes and stuff. That's something I never really discovered. Or, from what I was told, though, it's mostly DLC-friendly stuff, so I probably won't venture too deeply into the, uh, the realm of... Of uh, different clothing. It's gonna. All right, they talking. Blah 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 blah. Oh, hey, it's Adol and the little lady. Where'd you get? Where'd you find the get up, Adol? I look good, huh? Yeah, that outfit looks like it was tailor-made for you. I mean, the sailor outfit was all right, but this looks like something an adventurer would wear. Anyway, what are you two doing here? So how did I woke up early, feeling pretty hungry, so we came here. I gotta eat breakfast and take a dump afterwards, <laughs> or else I get all antsy. <coughs> Excuse me? Would it kill you to behave with a modicum of modesty? You know, like a proper adult. She's like, I also have to take a shit. <laughs> What's the matter? Feeling hungry too? I wasn't coming out of her stomach, buddy. Sounds like a healthy appetite. How dare you? That most definitely was not me. <laughs> Mr. Christian apologize. Don't blame that shit on him, man. Let's see, are we going to be the gentleman, or are we going to... Nah, man, don't, we ain't taking no bullets for, for Loxia. Although she did carry us in the last episode, so maybe we should give her a break. We'll give her a break. It's fine, as long as you understand. <laughs> anyway, we're definitely going to fall behind. Oh, excuse me. We're definitely going to fall behind if we head out on empty stomachs. I got a lot of heavy lifting to do. I'll, but I'll see what I can do about our food situation first. Say, Sahad, you're a fisherman, right? Think you could catch us some fish to eat? Huh? Who do you think you're talking to? Just gotta scrounge up the right tools first. But yeah, I can make that happen. Well, that settles it. Why don't you head to the beach with the, with the Sahad and catch us some breakfast? In the meantime, I'll catch up. I'll get a fire ready so we can cook what you catch. I'm not gonna. Don't worry about cooking. 
Must I really go to? I've never caught a fish before. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Don't worry. I'll teach you how to bait and hook and cast a line. Remember, if you want to eat, you got to fish. Ugh. Very well, then. Oh, yeah, Adol, one last thing. I've prepped some facilities in the village that might help you out. Facilities? So, is this the uh, smithy? Somehow just had all these supplies lying around. Huh, weird. Well, I guess they're not facilities in the usual sense. Still, don't. Why don't you check out and check them out before you head out to the beach? Yeah, we can check them out. But we gotta be fast, or else Loxia's stomach is gonna be grumbling at us. I already said that noise didn't come from me. Hey, that one came naturally. All right, so we're gonna be looking at or oh, talk to Dogie. Captain Barbaros went for a walk first thing in the morning. Man, I have to prepare breakfast before he gets back, or he's gonna slap me silly. How about you do me a favor and catch some fish? You should check out the facilities on your way. All right. This looks like where Dogie is storing all the villagers' materials. There's a note here. Let's read it. Warehouse rules. The materials in the warehouse belong to everyone. Help yourself into anything you need, but don't forget to replace it with something of equal value. Management Dogie. Manager Dogie. It reminds me of an old-timey trade system. Ha ha ha! I bet all this will come in real handy. Item exchange. After all, this is where the item exchange. Yeah, so you exchange stuff for, you know, equal uh, stuff. What is this? These look like supplies for making medicine. We should be able to prepare basic field items with this. Yeah, might as we might be good to uh, keep a supply of medicine on hand, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yes, but don't we need a container to keep it in? I mean, we have one, don't we? Hey, Mr. Kristen, don't you have an empty bottle on hand? Perhaps you can use that. I get it now. If we run around, if we run out of medicine, we can just make it more and refill an empty bottle. Yes. Let's be careful with empty bottles we find. They're, ca valu they're valuable resources on a deserted island. Yeah, because we can't just buy potions and shit, so we're going to make them. Bur cold brew! Crack open a cold brew with the boys. By attacking harvest points in the field, you can obtain different types of materials. This game really makes you, like, you know, appreciates, appreciate other facets of East games because you don't have shops. I like it. Hammering a rusty anvil. What's this for? For cooking tasty meals. That's not funny. <laughs> it kind of was. Anyway, we can probably use these to maintain our weapons. Oh, I get it. Simple but helpful. We all need to maintain. Well, we all need to maintain our weapons. Are all we need to maintain our weapons are the proper materials. Materials. Oh, that reminds me. I found this near the shore. Iron ore times five obtained. This might come in handy. If you have time, let's try it out. Of course, let's upgrade these weapons. But to enhance these bad boys. All right. Oops. Now we gotta do this one. All right, so. I could have sworn we had more iron ore than that. So I need three iron ore and six murky mucus. Let's see one more iron ore. It's not too bad. I'll max them out. Maybe I will. All right, so now everything is, uh, can we do that? We can't do that with armor, I think, right? Yeah, it looks like it's... We'll probably need somebody else that can do that with armor, if it's even possible. Um, I think that's everything? Yeah. Oh, there's one place down there. Oh, that's where the, uh... That's where we're gonna be 
fishing net, huh? Add all the others, went to the beach, and used the driftage to make improvised fishing rods. From there, Sahad began to teach them how to fish. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. With waves this calm, this is a perfect day for fishing. All right, let's catch us some fish. Where do we even start? Typically, you got you want to find a spot where there's a lot of fish and cast your line there. Isn't f spotting fish easier said than done? Ha 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 ha! Lucky for us, there are lots of fish swimming around this island. We don't gotta look hard for them to find them. There's one right there. Look out! Look over there! Check it out! Check it out! I'm I'm laying it way too thick in the Sahad's voice. I gotta pull it back just a little bit. Is that? Aye, those are fish shadows. Means that there's fish gathering near that spot. Might even reel in a big catch if you're if you're lucky. If 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 you're lucky. If you want everyone. If you want to fish, keep your eyes peeled for signs of fish activity. That makes sense. One more thing, you can't fish without bait. Bait time ten a pain. Ugh, <laughs> ugh, obviously we need bait. I just wish it wasn't worms. <laughs> Fish tend to f like local bait, you know, nearby critters and such. Just do a little exploring and you'll find a whole bunch of them. Anyway, experience is the best teacher. Come on, let's get some fishing. D do some, fi let's get some fishing. You can cast, you can fish in any body of water. And then press it up and the key and press select and blah, blah, blah. The one thing they don't tell you is that sometimes you'll pull out some shit from that water that can kill you, man. After multiple, multiple fish attempts, the shadows will vanish. You can still fish even if no shadows are present. However, you may haul items or strange objects rather than fish. And also monsters that range in, you know, different structures or power levels. They're OP, basically. Gotta mash it, gotta mash it. Caught a sardina. Thin hide obtained. Sturdy bone obtained. White meat obtained. I've got a bite! Huh? It's stronger than I expected. I did it! Look, everyone, see what I caught. Um, I mean... I'm just so surprised that I was able to catch one. <laughs> Not bad. You're pretty good for a beginner. I think you got real potential. Really? I can't really... I can't explain what came over me, but it was rather enjoyable. Man versus beast. Uh, instincts kicked in. You guys can keep those rods. Use them whenever you fit... Gah, get the commission itch. Also, also be really helpful if you guys could record every fish you catch, especially if you got a craving for grilled fish. <laughs> Fishing rods attained, and I think it'll uh, it'll just record everything we get. Fishing log. Looks like we've caught enough to make a hearty breakfast. Yeah, I believe we've finished everything that was asked of us. Let's return a dorgy, dorgy, dogi. The fire should be ready by now. I want to try fishing again, honestly. There's, are they still there? They're not there? Fuck it. We're going to go for it anyway. Oh, no. I see them. All the way over there. We're going in. Come on. Jump on that shit. Caught a bully. Rock salt. I'm down. All right, so we're done here. Just wanted to catch that real quick. Let's go back to Dogi and have him cook up that bole. Welcome back. Did you, get, did you check out the facilities? They'll come in handy. Ha ha, you mean it? Then I'm glad I got them all set up. How'd the fishing go? Yeah, <laughs> see for yourself. Wow, nice haul. I'll start cooking them right away. But how should I prepare them? 
We don't got much to work with in terms of seasoning. We'll have to make do with the natural flavors of the catch. Oof. In that case, I'll whip up some fish soup. As for cooking utensils, I'll just have to whittle some wood and use that. Make sure you don't chuck the bones. We can use them for a hearty broth. Oh, great idea. Do you know how to cook too? I'm using that, I guess. Oh, I see. You don't know how to cook, Loxia? Ooh, shamer. Ah, well, I guess it's not that surprising. <laughs> Sorry. I just used this. I'm just used to servants pre preparing my meals. Then this is a great opportunity. The recipe for this soup is so simple, anyone can follow it. Why not use it to practice your cooking? How considerate of you. Thank you. Received the recipe for fish soup. It's making me hungry, honestly. All right, hopefully this is the last bit of expedition. I can't remember how long this went on for, but it went on for a bit. Belch! <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do you think, Loxia? Is your stomach finally full? Yes, thank you. I was wondering why we need... I was wondering how we'd feed ourselves on this island, but I guess that won't be an issue for us. Yep, that fish diet. Now then, Mr. Kristen. We should begin our search for the other survivors and continue this Let's Play. Jeez. Uh, that's right. You better get a move on, Adol. But before you head out, you might want to check in on Captain Barbara. God damn it, dude. Good idea. He just came back. I know he's around here somewhere. Sorry, I don't have... I can't be more specific. Um, well, I mean, there should be, like, something on the map, right? Yeah, there we go. He up there. Oh, that's when he found. Okay, gets the bird. Okay. Oh, that's. That's a pretty cool bird. This is going to be a talking episode, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I see. He's pretty smart for a bird. Indeed. He was. He has already learned some basic readings, so I suspect he comes from good stock. He needs a name, though. Speaking of words, my daughter just started talking on her own, too. Oh, that's sweet. Wait, you're what? You have a daughter? Huh? Of course I do. And let me tell you something, little lady. My wife, she's every bit the beauty you are. Really? For some reason, I'm very curious to meet her. Yeah. <laughs> well, if we get out of here alive, you all can come meet my family. Not many outsiders come to visit, so it'll be a real treat for them. I'll keep that in mind. You got a little one, Captain? Yes, actually. A young daughter, just like you. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Sounds like we both got one hell of a good reason to get out of here alive. <laughs> Indeed we do. By the way, Adol, there's something I'd like to share with you before you go. <laughs> Quest board. We'll need, a wide, we'll need a wide variety of materials to finish building a castaway village, but Dogi and I will never be able to gather all the materials we need on our own. So I'd like you to help us by gathering the materials we need while you explore. That shouldn't be a problem. Materials for building a village, huh? So stuff like wood and stone? Uh, actually, what we need will vary depending, will vary depending on what we want to build. So, I've come up with a bulletin board system. That way, people can write down what we need. If you need anything specific, just write it here for all to see. Got it. We should check the bulletin board whenever we turn, return to village then. You got it. All right, quest board. Let's hit it up. That's all for now. Peace out. 
could please continue your search for other castaways. I'm counting on you. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. There it is. That's how you do it. I had forgotten that. All right, so we can build a bed. I'd like you to build a simple bed for us. However, in order to do so, I'll need you to supply the following materials. Sturdy lumber times three. Sure. Let's improve the materials inventory. Will you help me collect some stuff? Come and talk to me first. All right. Quest. Building beds. Oh, about that. I plan on building beds for us to use in the dorm. I was wondering if you could find three pieces of sturdy lumber for me. Of course, there's no rush. Let me know when you find them. Gotcha. Oh, you're going out. You're ex going to accept my request? Perfect. Let me explain it to you. All right, my request has to do with the warehouse here. Well, as you can see, all the materials we have are stockpiled here. We have an exchange system in place, but some materials run out faster than others, especially materials dropped by beasts. It's hard to maintain our stock when some items are used more often than others. Think you can help us replenish our stock? So basically, to tend the till. Of course I'll help, Doki. <laughs> I knew I could help you'd help me out, buddy. Judging by your current inventory, I only need a couple of specific things. I need 12 murky mucus and 8 light bones, more than anything else. If you can bring those, I think our storage situation will be okay. Think you can get those items for me? Ah, thanks a ton. When, <laughs> when you've got all the materials, make sure you bring them to me instead of dropping them off here. Catch you later, Adol. Alright, I think we can get some time to play finally. Uh, where have we, where are we even going? Shit. Keep mapping the area. Got it. So we should probably go like, what, here? Oh wait, no, that's not, that's not where we want to go. This ain't, ain't nothing here for us. So where should we start looking for castaways? Didn't Dougie say something about seeing somewhere, someone somewhere earlier? My word, were you not paying attention? <laughs> Sorry. Mr. Kristen, you remember where we're supposed to go, don't you? Uh, I think it was south? Very good. However, that's just common sense. Dougie told us that the footprints on the shore, on the shore to the south, <laughs> We should consult our map as we proceed so we don't get lost along the way. Alright, so we're going south, huh? But, what, wait, which way is south for that? Oh, they want to go this way, so. We're going that way. Will that actually lead us to the right place? I wonder. I kind of wonder, will that actually be this? Yeah, I guess we're going in the right direction. Oh, this is definitely a dead end.
Let's not get lost, she says. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Who over here? Okay, there's that thing. Maybe we can move this? Before it was just me. My word. Huh? Looks like this big tree's blocking our way. I'm blocking our way. I don't think we can go around it. So we gotta get this out of the way, so we head back to the other side, so we can get to the other side, yeah? By we, are you including me? Nah, you just sit tight, Lax, yeah, me and Adel can handle, handle this. Mm, the birds found us. Hey, little lady, knock off with that weird voice. Oh, I wasn't here. Why am I talking over to the envelope? They, they just came out of nowhere, man. That threw me off. Man, they weren't even trying. <笑>おお、ちゃんと喋るじゃねえか。リトルアロ。それはあなたの名前なのですね。リトルアロ、伝令役。伝令役、いろいろ伝える。ひょっとして伝令役のことではないでしょうか。<笑> And now the vocals are gone. Huh? It just flew away. Apparently it needs more training to be a proper messenger. Oh well. Come on, Adol. Let's get to work. That shit almost fell apart for me. Working together, Adol and Sahad tried to remove the fallen tree out of the way. But as time passed, the two eventually realized they weren't strong enough. So they decided to return to the village when suddenly... Brought the big bodies in, huh? Look. Little Paro, you sent sent you to help us? Yeah, more or less. Mm hmm We all he's already proven to be very useful. If in situations like this, where long distance communication is is need, he'll be invaluable. Gotta admit, I'm pretty surprised. Nice work, little guy. I tell everything you think me. <laughs> I'm not going to read that. Now give me food. Considering that the captain has been training him, he's surprisingly rude. Sahad, salty. Laxia, scary. Huh? Hmm. Who taught him that? Uh, I think he might have picked up some new words while I was talking to him. <laughs> I need to be more careful. Or he'll relay a message that I didn't mean to send. <laughs> Perhaps we should all be mindful of that. Yeah. Anyway, is this tree that's giving you trouble? Is this the tree that's giving you trouble at all? Yes, it is. Let's get it out of the way. Come on. Yeah, can you help us out? Roll it up. Come on. We gotta end this episode. Now the doggies on the scene, you guys have nothing to worry about. Hmm. Let's get to it then. Help request static, just randomly calling people, and it depends on how many people you need. And if you have the right amount of people, you can remove obstacles. Oh. 
even with Dogi Captain Barbaros to help, removing the fallen tree was very difficult. Though Lakshya was luck reluctant at first, she soon joined in to help the others too. Though everyone was covered in mud when it was all over, they all they were able to clear the path. I can't believe they don't actually animate that part. Oof, that was tiring. I'm tired too. But it seems like we finally made some progress. <laughs> wonder what we would have done if it was the others hadn't showed up. We might need everyone's help again if we encounter more obstructions in the future. Definitely will. If we find more castaways, I hope we'll, they'll be willing to help us. Some of them. We just gotta take things one step at a time is all. Holy shit. More. Oh, Paro, what are you doing? Still doing here? I see from Sky. I tell you, you thank me. Nearby event points have been marked on the map. Man, this bird. This, what's this bird's deal anyway? Don't ask me. I'm just a bird. I know nothing. <laughs> See for yourself. <laughs> that bird cracks me up. Yeah, stilted speech. He has aside. He has already proven to be very helpful. Well, now that everything is squared away, let's continue moving. Alright, that's it for this episode of East 8 Lacrimosa of Dana. We'll be back next time with another episode. We're going to find our first, well, not, not our first castaway, but we'll find our uh, first civilian castaway. Uh, he's pretty much behind that, basically, if I remember correctly. Anyway, make sure you check us out on twitch.tv slash gamegoons. You know, like and subscribe to this channel. It's like to that channel, all that stuff. Leave some likes and comments down in the section, that, the comment section if you liked it. Sorry, it's like really late. I'm so tired, but I'm having a great time recording this series. I'm having it's like so, so much fun to play. Uh, if you haven't bought the game yet, you should check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I put a link down in the description if you need to have direct access to it. Definitely get the digital version because, you know, why even waste time with, you know, this, this media anymore? It's dead media. Uh, just kidding. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out.